Welcome back to the Public Health Academy. I'm glad that I'm able to share my knowledge of public health concepts on this platform. In this video, I will discuss the epidemiological measure of association or the odds ratio. The learning objectives are the following. Review of the contingency table, define what an odds and odd ratio are, explain the odds ratio equation, and also all these three different concepts. We will put these into place by working through four practice problems. First off, there's a review of the contingency tables. Contingency tables have four categories based on both the exposure and disease status, along with their respective total columns. These tables are used to calculate risk ratios, rate ratios, and odds ratios. If you're interested in learning how to calculate risk ratios, kindly refer to this video clip titled Contingency Tables Risk Ratios. The first concept we're going to discuss is odds. Odds are defined as the following the probability or likelihood of developing an illness. We can calculate the odds for two groups. The first group is the odds of, di of disease in exposed group and odds of disease in the unexposed group. And the two different letters, A over C and B over D, represents those two different groups. The last concept is an odds ratio. An odds ratio is defined as a measure of association that is used to compare the odds of developing an illness in the exposed group to that of the unexposed group. The odds ratio equation is A times D divided by B times C, which can be derived from the contingency table. Now we have our first practice problem, and I'll read out loud. A group of researchers from Boston Medical Center conducted a prospective cohort study to investigate the association between sugary drinks and the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Researchers selected 1,000 young adults who lived in Boston, Massachusetts. 250 were exposed to sugary drinks, and among them, only 100 developed type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, 300 developed type 2 diabetes among individuals who were not exposed to sugary drinks. Set up the contingency table with the appropriate numbers and labels. So this is the solution in terms of I already set up the table based on disease status. Disease status here in this case, of course, is type 2 diabetes, and then the exposure is sugary drinks and no sugary drinks. Next, we have the practice problem number two, and I'll read out loud. A group of researchers from Boston Medical Center conducted a prospective cohort study to investigate the association between sugary drinks and the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Researchers selected 1,000 young adults who lived in Boston, Massachusetts. 250 were exposed to sugary drinks and among them only 100 developed type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, 300 developed type 2 diabetes among individuals who were not exposed to sugary drinks. And we have two calculations. The first one is calculate the odds of disease among the exposed group. And the next one is calculate the disease among the unexposed group. The next problem has the 2 by 2 table, which is divided based on exposure and disease status. And as you can see, we have no, we have type 2 diabetes and then we have no type 2 diabetes. And then we have the exposure status, individuals who drink sugary drinks and individuals who do not drink sugary drinks. To calculate the odds of disease among the exposed group, what we do is that we divide A over C, um, which is 100 divided by 300, and that gives us 0 0.33. And then the next one is odds of disease among the unexposed group, which is B over D, and that gives us 150 divided by 450, and that gives us 0 0.33. The next problem is, is the same one, but it changes to calculate the odds ratio. 